What's up, Buck fans? Real Bucks talk back with another player breakdown. Today will be first year running back Keyshawn Vaughn, 5'10, 214. You can see on your screen. He had a slow start to his career 26 rushes, 109 yards. Look at that average 4.2 yards per attempt. Who else had a slow kind of start to their career? Ronald Jones, right? Fellow running back. 23 carries, 44 yards. Look at this, 1.9 yards per attempt. So that's it's pretty trashy itself. And then time will tell. Look what, he, look what happened. He just got better and better. Is Keyshawn Vaughn going to follow the same footsteps? We'll see. We'll find out. But let's break down the film and figure out what he did well last year. So what do you like from Keyshawn Vaughn? Yeah, Keyshawn, again, he was a, a guy that did pretty well in the opportunities that he had. Um, and as you see here, he's he's very good with his cutback ability, the vision. Uh, so he he sees the hole, he hits the hole very quickly. Uh, there's really no hesitation with Keyshawn as far as his movement and his running ability. Uh, so I, I like him in, in that regard, and he does a good job of uh, you know just finding the the open opportunities that is in front of him, and he definitely takes advantage. Yeah, like you said, he he hits it hard. I mean, look how much of a hole the hole over here on the outside is amazing. But still, how fast he hits it and cuts up field right here. No wasted movement, gets up field, kind of bangs against people, picks up yards. I know this is crunch time. Or not crunch time. This is more garbage time against the Packers when we're dominating, dominating them during the regular season. But either way, it's just stuff that you can can analyze moving forward to see how he's going to look, I guess, in the future. So here he's just reading his blocks. More pets pulling over here. Set up your block. Wait to explode through the hole. And there you go. No shoestring tackles on him and just picking up yards. What do you like? Yeah, like you said, just the, the overall patience in his game. Again, he is explosive out of the hole, uh, so he shows good job of really have that that start to acceleration, um, and it's, it's very quick. So, you know, once he sees daylight, he knows how to run to it. And, uh, you again, like you said, shoestring tackles aren't going to get him down. Tough physical runner, and, and can pick up extra yards. Here, you know, again, similar thing. Look at this cutback you know, ability to see the hole and, and pick up yards quickly. Like there's no, again, like no waste of movement. You know, he, he jumps cuts, you know, to the right there and, and just dives forward, but you see his ability to press the line here, you know, sucks the linebackers in and then able to, you know, run around them again, not the fastest guy, but he's quick enough to, you know, be effective. Yeah. Quickness and space and short area quickness right here, but just the little choppy foots right here, just to, like you said, draw everyone in. And then what What do you know? Pop it outside, get inside, pick up more yards, and then dragging guys with him. I like that. It keeps the legs churning, picking up yards. Again, this is more projecting what he could be in the future. Now it's more, yeah, reading what's going to happen. There's nothing there. He's reading what's in front of him. There's no hole, no hole. I see a little bit of daylight. I'm going to fly to it. And if he doesn't trip up, he probably has a touchdown. He's pissed off about it. What do you see? Yeah, like you, and like we showed before, just that quick ability to cut back to the left. I mean, as you you slow it down here, you see him. He's eyeing fifty one here. Kind of just takes a nice little peek right there. Sees nothing. Sees fifty one went inside, and then he has the opportunity to dart. And once he's off to the races, it's it's pretty good. And yeah, he just tripped over his own feet because he got excited. Um, so I see six. Yeah, <laughs> but. But here again, uh, just showing the the good patience. I mean, you see that just subtle cutback. Again, it's nothing, you know, too out of the ordinary. He doesn't overstep or, you know, try to do too much. It's just north and south, get downhill, you know, and he's going to take every yard he can get. And you kind of you respect that from a running back because that's usually what the good ones do is there's no waste of yards. They don't get tackled for loss. They always find a way to get yards. Let me give credit to Dominic Smith. Everyone that hates him, check this out. Boom, one, helping out. Two, get the hell out of my way from my running back and look at the size of that hole. I mean, I know it's garbage again time against the Lions. Another team were just dominating in this game. But still, it's what is he doing? Is he putting it up on tape? What are you seeing? Is he dragging people like he is here, fighting for yards? Yes, yes, checking boxes. If he has more carries, let's see what happens next year. And now, how are his hands? How do they look? Yeah, pretty solid. Uh, again, there's times where it's inconsistent, you know, and we're going to show you that. But here was a nice play. This was a big touchdown in this game. You know, nice hands catch and just finds a way to get up field and gets the touchdown. So very good play there. Yeah, really like I stopped it here because it's literally just a hands catch. He watches the ball all the way into his hands. He is a better hands catcher or just a better natural catcher than Ronald Jones. Just be flat out about that. And then the ability to get up field, get in the end zone. 
make sure you get six for Tom Brady. And then another here, just being an option for Brady. Turn it around, get your head around quickly, secure the catch, get upfield. I mean, you don't have to be anything special, just get upfield and get some yards. But I do like how quickly, look at this, these guys can come in on him and they should get the tackle there. His little quickness gets upfield, picks another up like six, seven, eight, eight yards. And now some of the bad, you can break this one down. Yeah, this was a perfect pass and he just drops it. So, yeah, and it's unfortunate he had some, you know, drops here and there during his limited opportunities and then also some fumbles, uh, you know, especially I think there was the key one in the playoffs against Washington. So, yeah, I mean, just some minor things he's got to clean up. But again, he's got a very good uh, skill set, you know, just unfortunately dropped this one and then kind of same thing here, you know, making him presentable, good option, and it just goes right off his hands, hits him in the helmet, actually, and then he gets nailed. So it's like, you know, double whammy right there for Keyshawn. Uh, you know, that's just a welcome to the NFL. And, uh, and this is stuff he'll learn and he'll get faster with his processing and, and become, you know, hopefully a, a dependable player that can be a future for this team. So guys, with that said, I, I hope you en enjoyed this video. Uh, Keyshawn Vaughn, I think is, is someone to look out for this year. So be sure to give us that like subscribe and, and comment down below what you think. And with that said, until the next one.